Hello and welcome to Learn A-Level Biology for free with Miss Estrick. In this video, I'm going to go through taxis and kinesis. So if you are new, then just click subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on the latest videos. So just a bit of an introduction first. This falls into topic six for AQA, responses and reflexes. However, this is just focusing on a type of response. It's not linked to reflexes. So a stimulus, as a reminder from GCSE, is a detectable change in the environment. And that could be light, it could be pressure, it could even be moisture. And these changes can be detected by cells and organisms. And the cells which detect these changes, we call receptors. Now, organisms increase their chances of being able to survive if they can respond to stimuli via different response mechanisms. And what we're looking at in this video is the responses taxis and kinesis. And these are very, very simple responses that you tend to just see in very small animals. Um, and they're to keep these animals within their favorable conditions. And this is normally light or dark, moisture levels, and also particular chemicals. So let's have a look in more detail. We're going to start off by looking at taxis. And this, again, as I said, is a simple response in organisms. And a taxis response is when the organism will move its entire body towards a favourable stimulus or away from an unfavourable stimulus. So, for example, when an organism moves towards a stimulus, this would be positive taxis. And when it moves away, it'd be negative taxis. And two key examples we've got at the bottom, earthworms, first of all, they show negative taxis um, towards the stimulus light. And that means, because it's negative, it means they'll move their entire body away from the light towards a more dark area. And the reason for this is they need to try and make sure that they don't get dehydrated in the light also, if they're in the dark, they're less likely to be spotted by predators and their food source is more likely to be in a dark location. So those are the reasons it's an advantage and the response is it just moves its whole body or move towards darker areas. Bacteria is another example and they can show positive chemotaxis. And what that means is they move their entire um, body, which is normally just a single cell for bacteria, It'll move its entire body itself towards particular chemicals and this will help with their survival especially if we're thinking about when they're inside a host organism they'll move towards chemicals to try and avoid the immune response so taxis is the entire organism moving from one position to another in contrast kinesis again it's still a simple response but this is when organisms change the speed at which they move and the rate in which they change direction whilst they're moving. And this is slightly different depending on their environment. So if an organism moves from an area where it is exposed to beneficial stimuli to an area with less desirable stimuli, the first response, the first type of kinesis response will be that the organism will increase the rate it changes direction. So in other words, it will be a bit like it's just running round in circles. And the reason for this is if it's only just crossed the boundary from favourable to unfavourable stimuli, if it starts to move very quickly in circles, it's likely to return into the favourable conditions quite quickly and find those conditions again. Now, the alternative is, if an organism is completely surrounded by the negative stimuli, so it's not just crossed a boundary, it's just completely in unfavorable conditions, the rate of turning actually decreases, and that's to make it move in a more straight line, so that it should just keep moving in a straight line until it could, hopefully, and find a new location with the favorable conditions. So it does depend, the kinesis response does depend on whether the organism has just crossed that boundary 
from positive to negative stimuli or whether it is completely surrounded. So an example here we've got is woodlice and we're thinking about their response to the stimulus of water or moisture because woodlice have to keep themselves in damp areas to prevent excess water loss through evaporation. So if a woodlouse is in its nice favourable damp um, area and it just crosses the boundary into a dry area, the kinesis response would be to rapidly start moving directions, changing directions in hope that it will turn back around back into the favourable damp conditions. However, if the woodlouse happened to be, for whatever reason, in a completely dry area, the turning rate would decrease, so it would be more likely to just move in a straight line to increase its chances of finding a new habitat which was damp. So that is it for taxis and kinesis. Hope you found it helpful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up.